Today, Governor Greg Abbott retweeting this video. It shows a man flinging metal road signs into this car in downtown Austin. In the tweet, Abbott writes in part, Austin's policy of lawlessness has allowed vicious acts like this, threatening to take action next Friday, November 1st, if city leaders don't do anything. Mayor Steve Adler responding, calling the governor out for sharing a video more than a year and a half old, telling Abbott he's once again fallen victim to social media trolls. The governor not backing down, acknowledging the video's age, but letting the mayor know he's not fooling anyone about the dangers in downtown. Tonight, the attorney of the man in the video is talking with us. She sat down with KXAN's Candy Rodriguez to clear things up. What if your worst day played out in public? I think it's very clear that he was experiencing some type of crisis at that moment. What if your worst day was captured on video? What if it was shared with the world? It's humiliating. What if you had to relive it? Over and over and over again, because it's forever, forever on, uh, on social media. Those are just some of the struggles Krista Chacona says her client, the man in this video, is now facing. It's re-traumatizing him, it's re-traumatizing his family, um, you know, for, for a few points um, for Governor Abbott. Chacona says to make matters worse, her client has now become the face of homelessness. Is this man homeless? No, he is not. And he wasn't during the time that video was shot? That's correct. She says there's a need for help, and it starts with the person's mental health. But when you do have a mental health issue, it's impossible to stay stable on the street. And, you know, so that's that's sort of the, the tragedy of it. Um, and that's why that the housing issue is so important. Chacona says what the city needs is more resources. Why don't you step in and, and help, um, you know, rather than just criticize from the sidelines. In Austin, Candy Rodriguez, KXAN News.